girls welcome back to my channel i do hope you're doing well would you look at this your girl is fresh faced we're in some gym attire so you know we've got another gym haul and i may or may not have detoured on gymshark again because they had a 50 to 60 percent sale i just had to get my hands on some new bits i'm looking very flushed as i film this my lovelies the temperature in england is skyrocketing let me tell you that um, gym has not been pleasant this week i have melted absolutely melted you will see it more in the 12 week vlog but i'm not enjoying this nice weather when i'm on the treadmill running and i just see these lovely blue skies i don't want to be in there i don't want to be in there i want to be like with an ice cream van which i have had a few ice creams this week off of the uh, ice cream van that's come around to work so not quite great for the health fitness is it but my lovelies we have another huge bag of gymshark and i think this time i got 10 or 11 items looking back now what i purchased will i be able to wear them this weather i've got some jumpers i don't think i'm going to be needing jumpers well actually i could because then you sweat more but my lovelies if you like the set that i'm in as i say i've got the matching leggings here head over and check my ayBL able haul because they are the number one contenders at the moment out of able and gymshark i'm rating able higher just purely for the style this ombre set this seemed to be all of your favorites from when i done the try on haul and it is definitely my favorite i've not yet ventured to the shorts those might have to be a set for tomorrow as i say because i've got classes but let's stop rabbiting away let's get the bag open i'm gonna do me thumbnail you need to go on silent and then we can get into the haul eh <laughs> so my lovelies i've just done my thumbnail we've got a lot we've got 11 items okay and i don't quite know where to put them because i don't know what order they're in oh this is just fan dabby dozy i've got some bits to match the other sets that i got last time and then i've just got some new bits to try so does it tell us what right i think i know what this one is so if you haven't seen the last gym shark haul i'll leave it down there up above you know the drill head over and check it out because some of these bits you might think why have you just bought the top of it but it is to go with the set so the first one this was 50 percent off so it's normally 25 pounds and it was down to 12 pound 50 and it's just that classic seamless sports bra in black now i've got leggings of these and i've also got shorts of these again i picked everything up in medium which i believe is a size 10 slash 12 and you will see try on clips here there wherever i end up deciding to put them of how the bits are actually no should we do it like we've done it the old one sham yeah because we've got some new styles actually in this one yeah you're not going to see a try and clear what i'll do is i'll show you all the pieces and then i'll talk you through each of them at the end how we've done it on the first one because some of them are different stylings to the last ones and different ranges different names they can all kind of come up different and maybe not squat proof maybe are squat proof so i don't want to just be like yeah here's a clip we're going to try it on fully so you would have seen some of these tops in the last haul because i got a gray set and a navy set these are great for a crop style sports bra whatever you want to use them as i use these sometimes as a crop top with a sports bra underneath or if i'm not doing much cardio and i'm not going to be running about much i just have them as a sports bra very versatile would i pay 25 pound for them probably not but 12.50 your girl's happy with that right I did venture into the bra section, okay? Because we all know, been on a hunt for a sports bra for quite a while. So this is from the Adapt Animal range, which I think is kind of the material like Able. So it's the Gymshark Adapt Animal Seamless Sports Bra. Again, picked up in medium, and this was £15.20. Again, I think the sports bras are normally like in the 30s, but you girl just wait until the sale. So, oh. okay oh i like that because i've actually got some primark shorts very similar style to this so this is definitely like the material of the able one so you see it's like a well it says animal collection it is it's like a black leopard style ain't it and then you have a gym shark on the top there so it crisscrosses over at the front 
has got a few little pads for your support and then the back how funky is that very very cute i like that these i think yeah definitely on par with the able whereas these ones are kind of like your lurexy style ones just to chuck on under but as i say no see-throughness in the tops of these the leggings however i believe in the seamless range was a tad see-through but they're perfect if i've got an oversized jumper or a big oversized t-shirt chuck it on no one's gonna look are they no one's gonna look oh i'm intrigued with this so this is gonna be our first proper sports bra of all of the series to be honest because the one that i wear now you would have seen in week four vlog which was what i picked up from decathlon and that is really the only proper sports bra i have so if i remember correctly i've also picked up another one in here somewhere sorry my lovelies if i keep touching my arm you know like when the heat comes i think i've got heat rush i am very fair skin and my skin she takes well to the sun after a few days but the first few days she does not like it gonna have to moisturize you up later darling ain't i but yes anyway as i was saying very intrigued this looks like a nice type of bra to wear or even a top for pilates very intrigued with that and 15 pound 20 i don't think that's too bad because the decathlon one i paid 12 or 13 pound for so on par with that and on par with everything else right where are these ones because i'm looking forward to these things now these are the gymshark training cropped leggings in pink i got them for 12.50 now i got two pairs of another style of which i got in last month but i saw these and it was the color and i can just see through the bag that the vibrancy has not failed 12 pound 50 i don't think that's too bad <gasps> guys look at that pink is that not just a bit of me and also so they're longer than a short but not as long as a full length this is a nice nice length are you going to be see-through though so you're going to see my cellulite which i'm not going to be able to get away from but oh and also i've just noticed on the back you see it's not a ruching but it's just got the stitching to kind of accentuate the bum so you've got the gymshark logo at the back on the middle and then you've got it at the front good bit of stretch you know we like a bit of stretch 12.50 would i pay 25 pound for them probably not not gonna lie you go <laughs> you know me it is primark all the way if you see me in like abel or gym shark or there may be another little uh gym wear haul coming very soon of a brand i've been wanting to try it. it's all in sale i haven't got money to be paying 50 60 70 80 pound a set some of them there's a gymshark set that i've had my eye on and it's just not going in any of the sales it's quite disheartening but it, when it does that means it will be but yeah love them and i love them so much you know what i'm like when i like something i kind of get it in loads of other colors now these ones were only a tenner Gymshark training cropped leggings in teal. Love these ones. These are kind of similar to a blue that I got last month. But the last month ones were, I think that was a bit lighter than these. And they were full length. <gasps> How cute are they? You will notice that I'm definitely trying to get like more spring colours and like light colours in as you can see this is blue we had peach um there was a slight little like rusty maroon one but a lot of my gym wear is dark it's black it's navy it's khaki so i'm trying to introduce some uh lighter colours because we need to we need to when i walk back from classes my lovelies and i'm all in black oh my lord sweat does not even cover it i am dripping by the time i get home it's like i've been in a sauna i mean it's great for the waistline because you're burning all them calories in the sweat but is it something i really wouldn't be wearing no so i like to have these alternatives now speaking of alternatives what have we got here so right this is something that i don't think i'm going to get particular use out of right now but I saw it in the sale it was originally i think 24 or 25 pound and it went down to 12 pound 
Now I have my zipper jackets, but I've been wanting to try and find like some big oversized jumpers or hoodies just to chuck on for the mornings when it is cold. I mean, the other day I got to the gym and it was quite chilly in the morning and by two o'clock it was like in the twenties. I was melting at work, let me tell you that. So I need to start remembering to like take uh, a few top options and not just go in my sports bra. So that's what your girl does. So this is the Gymshark Animal Graphic Sweatshirt in a blueprint. Again, medium, £12. £12. So I like to actually have separate everything for the gym. So I will have like my trainers that are purely just for the gym. I'll have underwear that's purely just for the gym. Socks, everything like that. So I saw this. Oh, wow. This is huge. Whoa, that is oversized. Oh, my Lord. I probably could have got away with a small in that. But, can you see, it's a very muted blue on the uh, animal print. That is huge. I don't know how that's going to look on the trial clip. Is that going to look too big? I mean, I know I needed something big enough to cover when the leggings are a bit see-through, but... Oh, Lord, if you're getting an oversized sweat, my lovelies, from Gymshark, I'd probably say size down. I'd probably say size down. But for 12 quid, I can't complain. Can't complain. And actually, that's quite a nice jumper to wear with cycling shorts. We know when it's warmer weather, it's cycling short season. Oversized t-shirt dresses, that is what I am here for. We all know that, don't we? Right. I'm trying to work out now what is what. What have we got here? So, right. So, actually, we'll go with these two because these I might know something about. I picked up two more pairs of the Gymshark Training 7-8 leggings. If you remember, they're like 7-8, so I'm guessing 7-8s. I think so. I don't quite know. But these are, again, more training leggings. I got these for 12 quid. 12 quid a pair. I didn't think you could go wrong. This is the style of which I got a blue pair in last month. Last month? Was it last month or the month before? I only paid like £9 before then. So, I mean, a sale is a sale. Oh, I love this. <gasps> Look at that colour. So, they are longer than the training shorts because the training shorts are literally knee length. These can probably come up to mid between your i'm trying to think what the body part is midway of your car i think that's it but this is what color do they call this teal now i would say this is like a forest green not gonna lie i'm not mad at it though again are you going to be see-through who knows you will see the indentation of my cellulite but we can't really do anything about that can we i've tried creams upon lotions upon gizmos your girl's just got cellulite, she's going to have to embrace it, eh? There's other things in the world that are more important than whether you've got cellulite, Shannon Lee. Oh, I love this one. I've got them in orange as well. Look at that. Oh, I just love it. And as I say again, you've got the Gymshark logo on the side. And again, in the middle, by the bootay. Very much like them. And I like kind of like, can you see it's an exposed seam? See that there? I kind of dig that. Dig that. Who do you think you are, Shannon? I really like that. Oh, and also, I know I said Able are in the front running at the moment for gym wear, but because this stuff is material, it's like almost a ribbed knitted material, it does get hot. Sometimes it is nice to have like a little light reset. As I say, you still sweat as anything in them, but sometimes it's nice just to have a little bit of a breather. You know what I'm saying? Let's have a look. Oh, bra time. So, I was very intrigued with this because whenever I go online or look into sports bras, they always say the ones that zip up at the front are the most supportive. So, these were £25 down to £12.50. You girl snapped it up. I should have got one in the black and the nude. I just went with white though because I thought where I've got like the black and grey one and we've got that one as kind of like a yoga bra. I wanted something for my white tops and that. And obviously coming into spring, summer, if I have like a baggy racer back style, sometimes it's nice to have a little white bra. So this was £12.50, okay? I've got high hopes for this. I really have my lovelies. Again, picked it up in a size medium. 
how is it going to fare? Oh, feels very nice, feels very slinky. So this is that zip up bra, and as I say, you've got the emblem there, and they also had it in white, white? You've got the white, Shannon. They had it in black with the white emblem, and I'm sure there was a nude, unless the nude was of a slightly different styling. So I love this, actually, because the back, you see that, my lovelies, it's all mesh. So that's going to be perfect for when the back gets a little bit sweaty, because I'm not going to lie, I have to scrub my back every night now. And when I say scrub, I mean physically scrub, because I feel like, you know when you're on holiday and you get like loads of little water blisters sometimes my back feels like that and i'm like ew get the exfoliant let's get it scrubbing so ah oh that's a good idea so 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 when you undo the zip it's actually got like a little bra clasp can you see that in there my lovelies so you haven't got to worry if, say, well, hopefully no one ever would, but if you was wearing this and someone just decided to come down and undo your bra, which they should definitely not be doing, you've got a little bit of safety there. Oh, I like that, but I can never get these things off. Right, let's just let's just try and sort this out, shall we, Shannon Lee? There we go. And then you undo it. What way do you pop off? oh there we go so you literally put it on like a top it has got adjustable straps which is fabulous we all know i love a good adjustable strap put it in do it up i'm very excited to try this very very excited i mean if you wanted to you don't have to do that little fastening up because you can still do it up with that but it's good to have it there as that little level of protection and i like this because it's not overly branded you just have the simple little Gymshark logo at the top. And you know what? This, I would feel comfortable wearing this as like a crop top. I really like that. For £12.50, I'm going to kick myself if that fits and I didn't get the black. Absolutely kick myself. Oh, Lord, what have we got here? We're down to our last few items, which I think is another matching set. Oopsie. Oh, yes, right, so... <laughs> Another thing I don't know if I'm going to be needing, I picked up a Gymshark training range again, cropped black hoodie in the size medium, got it for 12 quid. I've got feeling this ain't going to be cropped if it's really oversized, but again I thought we've got a full jumper, how about a cropped hoodie? Oh I like the quality of it, would I pay £25 for it? Probably not, oh now this is a bit of me, this is a bit of me, so that is definitely cropped. You'll probably see more when I try it on later. It's not too thick, which is good. It's perfect for those mornings when it's a little bit chilly, but it's not as thick as the jumper. And then you've got a big hood. Oh, I like this. Again, they had it in plenty of other colours. And I'm probably going to kick myself that I didn't get any more of these. But I thought black's just like standard, ain't it? For all year round. And then now she just wants everything bright colour. Should have got it in a white. <gasps> Oh, I like that. Actually, it feels like it's got a good bit of weight to it as well. And the top, I don't know what's... Can you see the middle part of the top is, like, ripped? I don't quite know what that's about. But again, we have a cropped hoodie, which I'm very, very excited about. And the last thing is another set. Don't shout at me, okay? We went with another set from the Seamless range. So this is the range where the leggings are a tad see-through. You're probably thinking, so why did you buy another one? But I don't mind it because sometimes, and especially in classes, when I'm walking, they're not see-through. I've done plenty of tests in the other one, and I'll do some tests again here. It's only when you squat. So these are perfect for me if I am squatting, but I'm at the back of the class. No one is going to see my underwear, and that's not a problem for me. And for the prices that I picked it up, so we got the sports bra, well, seamless sports bra, for £10. £10. Okay. Just, I mean, the pricing of that is phenomenal. And the leggings, we got in £9. £9 and £10. So £19 for a set. 
and I'm very excited because this is a colour that is going to be fabulous. I actually did pick it up just purely for autumn, but I thought I'd better get my hands on it beforehand. <gasps> oh, I love this. I got it in the forest green. Now, if you remember from the last haul, my lovelies, you see that shiny bit? I wish that Abel had that on their tops. So, on Abel leggings, they do tend to roll down when you sit down and everything. Whereas the Gymshark have this little kind of um sticky, it's not sticky, but it sticks to your skin. And it's like just a bit of rubber that once it's on, them leggings do not move. You can be bending over backwards, you can be squatting, doing anything, and them leggings will not move. And that was what I really liked about this range. So regardless of the fact that they are a little bit see-through, for the purpose of what I would want to use them for, which would be classes, I don't want to be hooking my leggings up every five minutes in class. So these are actually perfect. Come down, great length on me. As I say, I'm about 5'2", five, 5'3", five, for reference. They come pretty much to my ankle so that's not a problem love the color love the style and am i gonna love the top we all know i'm gonna love the top aren't we let's have a look oh yes i mean here is me buying gym wear for autumn sharon we've only just started summer darling oh i love this just the exact same as the black one that i picked up earlier you've got gym shark at the bottom and then it is a little racer back at the back racerback style at the back that's what i meant to say and you know what you know me my tops are always like normally cap sleeve but because it has been getting hotter and because i want to when i'm in the gym now i try to look not trying to be vain but i try and look when i'm doing certain exercises to see if i can see any change and i've actually started to notice just a tiny little bit of change in the back of my shoulders so sometimes i do like to wear tops like this so that when i pull it down i'm like oh i'm using that muscle group i'm not being vain in the slightest if you know me you know me i am not that girl that is in the gym like do, do, do. And I mean, if you're a girl that loves to be a bit showy, you go and do you. But me, I go there to sweat. I look like Peppa Pig, hair up, no makeup. I might look at myself in the mirror, but I'm not bogging out everyone else. I'm focused on me. And you know what I'm focused on right now, my lovelies? I want to go and try all these on. So, Shan, let's get in with the try-on clips. <laughs> Oopsie! I know we are cross-branding. I just thought I'd chuck it on with the able so that you can see. My lovelies... I love this. You know what? I know we go to the gym and it's to feel good and everything like that. But it's so much better when you actually have an outfit or say a top or a pair of shorts or a pair of leggings that you actually feel comfortable with. And you know what? I love this. The back of it. Let me just show you the back. So it's a gorgeous little crossover. I love it because you can still see my tattoo. Yes, I am that person that still wants people to see my tattoo. And hopefully, I might have a few more added before the holiday. Here's hoping, eh? But yes, that is the back. And as I say, the front, I love this wrap over. Now, people might think this is a little bit too much for the gym. If it's really hot, I would go to the gym in this. Would it be comfortable to run in? I mean, they move a bit, but I don't feel like I'm going to whoop overspill and have a nip slip. But yeah, I love this. I love the length as well because you can actually then wear it as like a little crop top. Oh, I love this. I mean, we've still got a little bit of the boob fat, haven't we? <laughs> That's still not gone just quite yet. I mean, coming up to almost three months in and I still haven't lost that. But I think it's reducing. I think it is reducing the arms. The arms are still the arms. I'm still not happy with my arms. I don't think I'll ever be happy with my arms, to be perfectly honest. But, uh, yeah, you'll have to wait for the 12-week vlog where we're actually going to go through, like, all the measurements and we're going to do, like, the final proper weighing and everything. But I love this. I think they had it in other colours as well. This, as I say, what I thought it was when I got it out, perfect for, like, Pilates, perfect for, like, supple strength, yoga. It's just free. It's off. Oh, and it's quite nice to see the girls for a change. I know people might think, don't go to the gym and show your boobs. I'm not flashing, am I? I'm just showing I'm still a little bit feminine. I'm sure people look at me in the gym because I do have 
like a mean face, I think. I, that's why I don't think many people talk to me in the gym because I have my hat on, which says not interested. And then I have my little Disney headphones. But, and then I'm like on the machines and I'm like, because <sighs> I try and push myself every session. And that's why I think like many people don't talk to me. I only speak to one person and that's a gentleman that I knew from when I went to that gym five, six years ago. And he was like, I think I recognise you. And we started talking. And it's like, so like we've never been apart. But yeah, he's the only one that speaks to me. So when I go in, I'm like, hi. And he knows everyone. So I'm thinking, well, hopefully someone will talk to me. Like, I want I want to be able to go in. I am that person. If you walk in the gym and I see you, I just smile. Because I'd never want a, someone to feel uncomfortable. Because when I first started going, there was obviously like the regulars. And I'd walk in and it'd be like, I'm not about that. I just, if I see you come in, I'll smile. Or if I'm going to the machine and you're next to the machine, I'll smile and say like, hello and think, just try and be pleasant, eh? But yeah, I love this. Oh my God, I love this. I would say that I'd walk back in this tomorrow from the gym, but I think I'd get terrible tan lines, don't you? Can you imagine trying to cover up those tan lines? But yes, I love this. I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. I feel great. I think I look quite nice. I want this in all the other colours now. <laughs> now the sports bra time. Right. This one, I would say, actually feels a little bit looser than the other one. I don't know if the other one, because where it's got the crossover, it's a little bit more supportive. But this one, I think it only said that this was a low support anyway, but I just like the idea of the zip. However, you could not wear this as a crop top, because I don't know if you can see. You see the pads are a bit darker. So, like, you can see that outline of the pads, which, not really the vibe. So, this would purely be a sports bra for under your tops. Or, say, for example, if you had a big racer back top on, this, like, it don't matter if you see a bit of the side, it's just full front on, you would see that. And I think I'd be quite self-conscious about seeing that. However, in terms of fit, I picked it up in a medium, likewise with the other sports bra. I am a 34 double D. Your girl wears a 34 D because she don't like feeling like a vice, and it fits perfectly fine. The back, I do feel, has a lot of elasticity. As I say, with the straps, you can loosen it, tighten it. But I do love this like little mesh panel here. It definitely feels breathable. And then, as I say, you come around to the front, and you've got the little zip i haven't done the little security thing just purely because it was faff trying to do it if i was wearing this as a crop top yes i would but i think purely because i will actually just wear this as a sports bra under a top i wouldn't bother if i went with the black version however i think i might wear that as a crop top because if it's black and black you might not see the strap marks but yeah strap marks the cups you know but as i say it's super easy to get on you've got your little logo in there and yeah I really like this. I would not pay the price of it full price. I think, what did I pay for this one, I say? $12.50? I'd pay $12.50 for this. This is all right. And as I say, I love the back. Oh, God, I've got to have a good little uh, scrub of me back again tonight, my lovelies. You know when you catch yourself in the mirror and I'm like, my little bubbles are appealing. Appealing? Appearing. <sighs> the joys of working out, eh? But yeah, as I say, Perfect for just putting on under the tops, under the racerback t-shirts, under everything. Wearing it purely as a crop top, I probably wouldn't. However, when I run, again, I don't feel like they're going to pop out. I feel quite supported, but yeah, just not with these pads. And I think if you took the pads out, you then might show nip. And I'm all here for free the nip, but I don't really want my nipples rubbing against this when I'm on the treadmill causing chafing and all of that, you know? So I would say purely, oh, I could get my words out there. It's been a long old day, my lovelies. I would say on this, I'd give it a 9 out of 10, just purely because of the pads, but I love the mesh back of it. Absolutely love that. I think we've got some good ones here. Yes, I know we're clashing with the other brands, but my lovelies, this is the top. So likewise with the seamless leggings, the seamless tops actually have the little bit of elastic as well. I was going to pair these with the Gymshark black leggings or the shorts, but both of them are in the wash at the moment. So we're just going to kind of go with it. Would I pay £25 for it? Probably not, my lovelies. It's just a standard crop top. I do like the fact that it has the little elastic because it will not move. But for £12.50... I don't mind it, and as I say, nice little muscle back. So when I'm doing all that, not that I have a clue what I'm still doing, but yeah, 
this I would not the black sports bra I've got here but like my sports bra that I've got from Decathlon I could get away with wearing underneath this if I wanted to but to be honest it's got like little pads in there I don't know if you can see just an outline it's got like a little v-shape pad in there just for that bit of support and as I say maybe I won't be able to do like full cardio but it's not too bad I'm not gonna like bend over and spill out my chest I do think it's very very nice I just wish maybe now because they are coming into summer that they do some more colors of these like that's one thing with Abel that I like is the color range there's yellows there's oranges there's blues there's greens i feel at the moment i've got some of the light colors in the leggings but i couldn't find much in the tops so i mean but that's not going to stop me um having a little look if they message me and say that there's some new bits there your yeah, girl's probably still going to have an order mama g is getting like very overwhelmed let's just say with the sheer amount of gym wear that's in the house but it's all i practically live in even if we go out to Tesco or whatever, I put on a gym set now. I just feel like I'm in that. I like being comfy. And being at the gym, you have to be comfy. So if everything's got a bit of stretch and a bit of like movement to it, apart from the tops, these, this is stuck. This ain't going to go anywhere. Let me tell you that. Like the leggings, all right? I'm very excited. Shannon Lee, stop rabbiting on. And let's get in with some more try on clips. <laughs> this is like a dress on me. And I'm low key obsessed with it. I love this. The inside is like the fleecy lined. Oh my God, it's so nice. So, so nice. It just feels comfy. And as I say, you see that? The really nice soft bits. You know, like the inside of the Primark five pound tops. This. This is perfect for the leggings. It's perfect for cycling shorts. Oh my God, I could just have this with cycling shorts. I'm so happy. And I love also... The little emblem is in like lilac. I love this. For the price I paid, I'm very, very happy. Again, I think they've done it in a black in the sale. Probably should have picked that up. But yeah, I love this. Like it fully legit covers the bum. Covers the bum. I mean, obviously, if I start to raise my arms, it's going to come up. So I need cycling shorts or something on underneath. But yeah, this is perfect. You know what? This is perfect for bloated mornings you know time of the month when time of the month's coming up and i'm dragging myself out of bed because i don't want to go this is perfect because look no one can see look how much room i've got in that i could be bloated to high heavens and above and no one would know oh yes this gets a 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 for me i love it <laughs> love the hoodie the hoodie itself is so lightweight yet the hood feels heavy. I don't know if it's this ribbed bit. I don't know what it is. I look scary with that up. I mean, I know I wear my hat every time I go in there, but I think the hood just looks a little bit more intimidating, doesn't it? But yeah, this itself is so lightweight. So lightweight. I absolutely love this. Again, would I pay full price? No, for the price I paid. Absolutely. Wish I'd picked it up in more colours. Because where it is so lightweight it's only the hood that feels heavy this i could still wear throughout spring when it is still a bit chilly and you just want to be covered up and you don't want your arms showing you don't want your boobs showing anything like that this is perfect you've just got your classic little emblem there nothing too fancy your hood is a fairly decent hood i mean like it is a big size hood so that's perfect because who knows in this british weather you can go out one minute, it's lovely, walking back and it absolutely pours down. Yes, that has happened to me a few times this month. But yeah, love this. 10 out of 10, give me all the colours. Gymshark, take my money. I just want them all. <laughs> right, the leggings, the cropped leggings, they come just below the knee. I kind of just folded them a little bit because if I had them all the way down on the normal length, they would cut my knee in half and it's probably not the most flattering, but love the color absolutely love the color of them and as i say we've still got plenty of stretch plenty of stretch they are however this is the only thing with the cropped leggings and the training leggings they don't have the elastic around them like the seamless set do so if you are looking for a set where the leggings ain't going to move and it has the band i would say stick to the seamless set because the training ones don't have anything like that on there however 
I mean, oh, and I've lost half me now. Oh, no, my love is without a disaster. Oh, no, look. Where's that gone? You know what, it's probably when I was pulling these leggings up, I'm going to find me nail varnish in my legs somewhere. Oh, well, we're just going to have to ignore that. You don't, you don't need to focus on the hands anyway. These are a little bit not squat proof. So I'm probably not doing it best. I never try them on with proper underwear, do I, my lovelies? Um, I've got red floral underwear at the moment, probably TMI. Kind of blends in with the red, but walking past, you'd never know. As soon as you squat, oh, actually, no. Hold on a minute. Are these like the training ones? Because if you remember last time, the training ones weren't see-through. It was just the seamless ones that were. Right, let's try and get a good angle for a squat. Oh, my God. No, my lovelies, they're not. I can just see a little bit there because of the pattern. These ain't see-through. Woohoo! Oh, my God, yes. There's me thinking, but as I say, it's just where I saw the pattern. Oh! <gasps> so if you want leggings that ain't see-through and you don't want the thick ribbed material, I would say go for the cropped or the training because these ones aren't see-through. They're squat-proof. Yay! 10 out of 10 for being squat-proof. Woohoo! <laughs> right, I don't know if the clip of the pink cropped leggings has been up yet. Because to be honest, I'm just trying these on in any random order. So I can't remember whether I've already shown them or not. If I have and I say, if you don't want see-through ones, get these ones. Just be careful of the colour. Okay, so this is the teal colour. Again, fits absolutely perfect. Nice styling. Got plenty of stretch. These ones, not see-through to walk past. But when you do squat... You do see, not necessarily the colour, because I have got like red underwear on, but you see the outline. But again, it's not terrible. Yeah, it's not terrible. It's not the colour that's coming through. It's just the shape. So, I'm going to retract what I said here now. The training and the cropped, I would say, are the least see-through. It just depends on the colouring that you go for, my lovelies. But, yeah, I love this. This is very close to the blue pair that I got last time in the training seven eights, but that one was a bit more bluer. This one I feel is a bit more greener, a little bit more greener. I need to get some sun on my legs because I'm a little pale, little pale whale at the moment. Let's just say that. I'll catch a little bit of tan on the top when I'm over, over the field having me uh, salad and lunches and maybe the odd ice cream from the ice cream man, but my legs are as just pale as anything. Because I'm still not quite happy with my legs. Even though I'm not happy with my arms. I can't be sitting there in a jumper, can I? So these ones, my lovelies, are going to get a 9 out of 10. Just purely for the colouring, as I say. The pink ones were absolutely fine. These, it's not so much see-throughness. It's you just see the outline. So just to be dubious. Not dubious, but to be aware of that. Okay, so yeah. Moving on to the next one. And now we have the green seamless set. All the way to the leg, and just as I predicted, see through as anything, okay? These leggings, especially this colour, it didn't show up too much on the black, navy, and grey that I got, but this colour really does. Um, probably doesn't help that I've got red underwear on as I say, I'm not trying it out, but yeah, these I would say are see through just by walking. So, this is the perfect outfit to wear with that oversized jumper, for example. Because you still want it to be comfy. You don't want your leggings rolling down. So as I say, with the top and the bottom, you have got the little ribbing on there, like the elastic. Plenty of room, though. I would say that the seamless set have the most stretch to them. You might find when you're putting on the other leggings, they seem a bit tighter because there is stretch, but they're slightly thicker. I think with the seamless set... Oh, what's that bit of cotton come from i think with a seamless set where it is a little bit more sheerer i'd say a little bit more thinner it can think and you have to really be careful to not get a camel toe okay i think that it's, it's gonna happen in these ones i'm afraid the top again absolutely fine but yeah it's just a little bit 
you can't even like oh lord look i didn't even get down to a squat i just got to there and i'm like no i can see booty and then yeah you just gotta make sure where it pulls at the front that like you don't want it rising up to that so the leggings i think like last time i think i gave them like a seven or an eight for the price that i paid i don't mind it's always handy to have an extra set of pair of leggings just to chuck a jumper on and you're good to go the top I give the top a 10 out of 10. The top does what it says. It feels nice. It's got the nice little muscle back. And for the price of it, $12.50, you can't go wrong. But yeah, the bottoms, especially this colour. Very big see-throughness. Don't be wearing this if you want to like be coming out and walking around. You need something. Or it wouldn't be too bad if you had something to tie around your waist. That's a, that's a way to solve it, eh? Now, what have we got left? <gasps> the two coloured crop leggings. I'm excited for these ones. <laughs> right, so these are the training seven eighths in the teal. And I'm in love, absolutely in love. So these are perfect. They come just above the ankle. And as I say, I'm about 5253 for reference. I would somehow sometimes like them to be a bit more high waisted or to have that sticky bit on them. But these are not a problem. These are probably the type that I would wear with an oversized top. So that if they did roll down a bit, it wouldn't really matter. The ones with the stickiness is what I would have on, as I say. Obviously, not in the green colour that we just saw. But if I didn't want my leggings to budge, that would be what I would wear. I really like this colour. Really, really like this colour. Perfect for spring, summer and autumn. Plenty of room still. Honestly, plenty of stretch. Not see-through to walk past. And you know what? I don't think... No! No! It's just the outline that you get, my lovelies. It's just the outline. So we could probably avoid that and wear some VPL underwear because we all know I don't really tend to wear the best underwear when doing these trial clips, do I? But yeah, absolutely love them. And again, I'd give them a solid. There's no camel toe. I just wish they might be a little bit higher waisted. I'll give these like an 8.5 slash 9. Just purely because you only see the outline. So they are kind of squat proof to me in this colour. But I would just wish there was a little bit more high, you know, a little bit more higher. But for like 19 quid, you just, you can't go wrong. Get in my basket. And then we are ending it on the training 7 8 in orange. These ones, see through just to walking, okay? I don't think it is the type of underwear that I'm wearing. I think even if I had nude underwear on, you would still see the outline of this. So... These training ones, I don't know if they're meant to be designed for big baggier tops to cover like the bottom. That might be why they're not so high rise. But yeah, these are very see-through. Again, there's plenty of stretch. Love the colour, but just not practical within the case of say if you wanted to go and do a full workout, squats, everything like that. They'd be fine for a class with a big oversized top. But oh, Mama G's just coming in. It is not practical at all for squatting. Could probably get away with running in them, but just make sure that no one was too close to you, you know? So, yeah, I would have to give these like a 7 out of 10, just purely because of the colouring. It's weird how you can get the same style, but different colours, and they just show up completely different things. So, yeah, I think this is the end of the haul. If not, you'll see some other trial clips from me, but I think this could be the end one. And if it is... We need to get into the outro. <laughs> so, my lovelies, that is the second haul from Gymshark done. And you know what? I think when it comes to the seamless sets and the training sets, I've kind of explored all I need to explore. Those are the sets for the big oversized jumper days, the class days when I'm at the back, not for the main workouts, let's just say. I definitely want to try Gymshark more in the ribbed like i did with the able able only do ribbed knitted material style i think whereas gymshark you always just get drawn to like the light cross style don't you like hoping that it's not see-through and unfortunately some of it is but i have had a lot of you email me and leave me messages to say to try i think it's the adapt range or the camo range which i think is what this comes from in Gymshark because it is the thicker material and obviously once you have material it's not the shininess it's not the see-throughness it is actual material like the able so yeah we may have 
further hauls, but I think we've exhausted the seamless and the training range. I think definitely the top that this is from, the animal style, I think it's the adapt or camo. I'm not entirely sure, but I definitely want to look more into this particular range. The hoodies, I wouldn't mind buying some more of, the big oversized jumpers, because I do feel like those are staples. And I would only get them in the sale, okay? As I say, my budget is normally Primark for gym wear. So if you see me in anything else, you know it's a sale. You know it's a sale. But of course, I will try and leave all the links to the items down below if they're still in stock. If the sale has gone off, sign up and you will always be notified of when the sale is coming in. So you can sign up, find the bits you like, add them to your wish list. And then when you get the email to say there's a sale going on, you just simply log in, go to your wish list and it's already there. It will tell you if they've gone down or not. Still got my eye on that uh, blue camo set, which hasn't gone down yet, but we shall see. But yes, my lovelies. Another haul is done. Another barefaced haul is done. You know when it comes to barefaced hauls, it's only going to be gym wear because why would I show you gym wear? all done up when i don't go to the gym like that however i do think that the next gym wear haul i potentially will have makeup on because i'm filming it on a weekend when i have makeup on for the whole day once i come back from the gym so just gonna i'm not contradicting myself but majority of the time the gym wear hauls i will be barefaced okay you'll just see little old me i need to go and sort this nail out because it is atrocious and the coleslaw has gone you see that on my lip if you've been following me for a while that is from when i was stung about six years ago i'm gonna say i was on site and i don't know what stung me but it's left a nice little kind of sting mark on my lip and when i don't wear any lip gloss anything like that you see it so yeah coleslaw has gone au revoir but still got the stain. I was thinking of getting like my lip blush, lip blush, lip tint done. But I don't know. I mean, it makes us all unique, I guess. But as I say, Shannon Lee, you're rabbiting away. Rabbiting away as always. My lovelies, if you did enjoy the video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment. What do you think your favourite item was? Have you tried Gymshark? Are there any ranges that you think, Shan, you need to try like though, the more thicker ones? Maybe certain colours to avoid? Do let me know. Or if you know of anywhere where good sports bras are. I mean, I've got two now, I've got this one, I've got the zip up, and I've got my decathlon. So I have three, but bras, uh, you wear them every day. I mean, sometimes I do prefer wearing my sports bra to my normal bra now, so it's always good to have options. But yeah, I'm not going to rabbit anymore. You want to get on with your day. You want to go and be enjoying this weather if you're watching it on upload day, because I think the forecast for Saturday is supposed to be quite nice. So yeah, if you are watching it on upload day, have a lovely weekend. And if you're not watching it on upload day, have a lovely week, weekend, whenever you're watching this. But all right, take care, stay safe as always, and I'll see you tomorrow for yet another haul, all right? Bye, guys. <laughs>